Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, not long ago, Simon did a puzzle, the first one we'd featured by Analytical Ninja, and he loved it. It was, I think it was called Rail Cars. Um, it looked a lot like, well, it, it was, yeah, it, it was a really good puzzle. I mean, check it out. It, it's worth seeing. I think it's the one he solved in a storm. It was quite funny. Um, no such problems for me today, but uh, I may well have problems with the puzzle. I love that it has just four markings in it. That's really clever, but it doesn't. It has eight effectively. So I'll explain that in a minute. And they're a little complicated to read. So the rules matter here. Um, do check out our Patreon though. Loads of great stuff on there. Always monthly competitions until the 20th every month. And we're always trying to keep the content going for people who are kind enough to support us. We think they deserve it. And uh, that is something we're proud of. Also, uh, there's our apps. We're very proud of them as well. You can check them all out on the link under the, part, under the description field here. And uh, you could find your way to our merchandise there and Sven Sudoku pad and the Discord server. So loads always going on. Now, what is going on in this puzzle though? This is the first link under the video. It's called Together Apart. Don't know why. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. Now, consecutive digits cannot be orthogonal neighbors. This is the non-consecutive rule. So you can't have a one there and a two there because they touch each other. What does orthogonal mean? It means sharing an edge, if you like. So you can have a one there and a two there because they only share a corner. But one there and two there would share an edge. They'd be orthogonal neighbors. Orthogonal just means horizontal or vertical. Um, digits along an arrow sum to the digit in the attached circle or pill. Two digit pills read from left to right or top to bottom. Now, the arrows are gray and they have these stubby heads on. So this is so I can show them and the purple lines. So this, oh, well, going from this end, this is an arrow. So those six cells add up to a two digit number read left to right there. Um, it could be, well, I don't know, uh, given that that doesn't have to be the same as the others, it could be up to 30 something, I think. Purple lines, however, contain a string of consecutive digits in any order. So those are Renban lines. So it, it is actually straightforward arrow and Renban Sudoku. But uh, it's worth noting that all arrows, including attached circles and pills, fully overlap purple lines. And that's why I've done these thick arrows and the thinner purple lines so that we can see them both. Um, but it's a lovely idea that these are full Renbans as well as the arrows and their attached circles or pills. So it's a great idea by Analytical Ninja. I have no idea how it's going to play as a puzzle. I am going to switch off my pen tool because I don't think I'm going to need it and it annoys me. Um, and I am going to just start the puzzle. Let's get cracking. So I hope you give this a go before watching my solve. But oh, this is a nine cell Renban line. Right, I know, I know something. If we got a pill there that had an arrow all along there, I know it has to be 36. Now, does that apply here? Yes, it does. These are the nine Sudoku digits. So I can let you into a secret of what they add up to, and therefore the total of every row, column, box, and nine cell Renban line. It is 45. So this whole purple se sequence adds up to 45. Now, you therefore need to find a number for this pill where the digits add to the difference from 45 of the other numbers. So the di I know that the answer is 36 because I've done this before, but it's worth doing the maths on that and checking that if you were to take 35 here, you've taken eight out of the 45 and that leaves the rest of them to add to 37, so that doesn't work. Whereas 36, you've taken 9 out of the 45, and these others must therefore add up to 36. They are the numbers 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9 in some order. Actually, that tells me that this is a 3-6 pair, because 3-6 now can't appear on the purple line again, and they can't be here. So we've got 3 and 6 in a group down here. Now, 
What about these eight and six cell lines? Are they going to give us information? Actually, that immediately makes me think about the three cell line. If these are all connected, doesn't this have to be one, two, three? Yeah, it does. It does. Because if you had any higher number here, there would have to be a gap either to get down to the two numbers in the calculation or between them. So that has to be a three. And this is a one, two pair. Now, I don't know the order. Oh, and I've totally forgotten the non-consecutive rule until now. It doesn't matter here yet. But I'd forgotten it entirely. Now, I haven't broken it anywhere here, and it's no use here, but never mind. Now, what about this eight cell line? Yeah, okay, so eight cells add up to somewhere between 44 and 36 in total. What two cells can you take out? I don't know. I think there's quite a bit of variability, actually. Um, could, I don't think this could be a three anymore, though. Oh, well, it couldn't. Obviously, couldn't be a three because of that. So I th that that's a one or a two. Now, could it be as low as 19 here? The No. Oh, of course, these numbers... Well, it could never be 19 because this is an 8-cell Renban. Oh, if it was 18, these would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which add up to... Twenty-seven. I mean, that's that's no good. Um, yeah, it's got. I mean, if you go lower, oh no! If you go seventeen, it would be two, three, four, five, six, eight. So the number would actually have increased. I think it's still. Ah, oh, okay. Here's one way to think about this. It's an eight-cell Renban. I've just sorry. I've just not been focusing on that. They are consecutive digits. So it's either 1 to 8, and this line adds up to um, 36. Or, just aid memoir here, these are not Sudoku digits. Or, it's 2 to 9, and they add up to 44. Now, both of those are possible. But this can't be 30-something. So if it's 44... Oh, well, I was trying to rule a 1 out of here. I think I can probably do that now. If it's 36 and you take a 1 out, you're taking 1 out from the digit count and 10 out from the pill. So that's 11. The others then have to add up to 25, double counting this cell. I don't know what I'm saying now. Let's get rid of those before I go mad. 36 or 44. If this was 18, they're 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's far too much, 27. If this goes down to 12, uh, which it can't... In fact, we've got a 1, 2 pair. So if it goes down to 13, then the others are 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, what do they add up to? 21, 30... Two. Oh, so it's higher. But if I take four... Oh, so 26 might have worked, although it's not going to work with that. 26 would have left these being 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, if there's a 1 on them. Yes, 36 is the digit total, minus a 2 and a 6 is... 28. I'm really managing to confuse myself. 27 would work. I think it would. 27 plus 7 plus 2 is 36. 27 would work if it's a 1, 2... Sorry, I'm not good at this maths. If it was a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 line, 27 works. Now, if it's a 44 line, and you put a 2 here, you're taking a 22 out. It's got 
22 left, you divide that by 2, and this would have to be an 11, so it couldn't be a 2 here. It can't be a 44 line. So let me just check this. If it's a, let's do that properly. I think what you do is you take the maximum total, or you take the total of the line. So if it's a 1 to 8 line, that's 36. Sorry, let's do it in full digits. That 36. If you assume a 2 here, that removes 22. You're down to 14. It removes 22 because it removes the 20 from the pill total and the 2 from the digit total. Yeah. You're down to 14. You halve that because this is going to contribute to the pill total and the digit total. Hence, that's 27. So that works. Right. If it's 36, can you put a 1 there? You're taking 11 out. You've left with 25. You can't halve that and put a number here. That's fine. So if it's 36, you get 27 here. If it's 44, then if you take 22 out, you're still left with 22. If you take 11 out, you're left with something impossible. If you take 33 out, you're left with 11, which you can't halve. So it could have been a 3, but it isn't. Well, it couldn't because of that. So it is 27. This is a 36 line. These are 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. Okay, and I now have finally reminded myself or worked out how the maths works here. And it has taken me ages. But I'm going to apply the same thing here. So there are more possibilities for this line, annoyingly, because it could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Could add up to 21. Let's do them in order then. If it adds up to 21 and you had a 1 here, which you'd have to, you take 11 off, yes. You divide the remainder, which is 10, by 2, and you get a 5 here. So um, if it's 21, let's put it over here, you get a 15 total in the pill. If it's 2 to 7, that's 27, then... You can't put a 2 here because you'll have an odd number to divide. If you put a 1 there, you take 11 off 27, you've got 16. It could be 18, but that's actually impossible because it would be a 2 to 7 Renban. You can't have an 8 on it. Interesting. Okay, didn't see that coming. If it's 3 to 8... They add up to 33. Then you're going to have to put an odd number here. If it was a 1, you'd have 22 left. If it was a 3, you'd have 0 left. So that doesn't work. Excellent. If it was 3 to 9, which is the last possibility, then it adds up to 42. No, not 3 to... Oh, have I gone mad? Let's do the last one again. No, let's do two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do they add up to? They add up to 27. I, sorry, I just want to check the maths carefully. I don't want to get this puzzle wrong, and I do want to be able to solve it. 27, you'd have to put an odd digit here because you're taking off an odd digit then. So that would have to be a one. That's 11 to take off 27 and yes that's what gets you the 8 and that is impossible because you're positing a 2 to 7 line right if it's a 3 to 8 line it's totals 33 so I think I did do this right you can't put a 3 there or that's taken the full 33 off if you put a 1 there that takes 11 off you're left with 22 you can't divide that by 2 so the last possibility is 4 to 9 which adds up to 39 so you're going to have to take an odd number off here. One would be too small, that would leave you with 28. So if you take 3 off, take 33 off 39, divide the other number by, which is 6, by 2, and you get another 3. So that's not going to work. You can't put 33 in a pill. So this is right. It is 15, and the other numbers are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, we know where 3 and 6 go. They go here, and this is a 2, 4 pair. Ah, so there's only one way each of these crazy mixed up Renban arrow things works. And we have figured it out. And I'm happy about that. Um, and I'm sorry it's taken so long. Right, let's remember the non-consecutive rule. So this can't be a 6. 
And that's all it does for us at this point. But surely, to goodness, we're going to get something else. So there's a 2x wing. Oh, in fact, no, there's a 2 there. That's just Sudoku, and that fixes the 4 and 2. In fact, the 1 and 2 there was going to fix itself. 7 can't be next to 6, so it's there. That becomes an 8-9 pair that I can't resolve. And what's this cell? It's the same as this one. So it can't be two. Uh, yeah, so therefore it's in one of these three cells, but it can't be two because of column four. So it's either five, eight, or nine. It's not actually very helpful. Um, mm, two in this row can't be next to three. Five can't be next. To, uh, this can't be five or eight because it's next to six and seven. So it's two or nine. This is not the way to go about the puzzle. Right, what is? I don't think these are all that helpful. I can't see. I could even put seven there as long as six and eight on the Renban were there and there. So, oh, two, 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 that is a two. So these can't be one or three anymore. This can't be three by Sudoku. This can't be one by Sudoku. Okay, we can reduce the possibilities a bit then. Ah, now seven has to go here. Oh, that's great, because two is there. So seven is here, because it's the only place it can go. And now it can't be next to six or eight. So six and eight on this line are a pair in these cells, which is quite surprising. There's a seven in one of those two. Oh, this has become a 4-5 pair. Oh, we can fill in 3 and 1. Wow, this is lovely. This is a very good puzzle. 6, 8, and 9 here. Ah, but... That's slightly interesting. One of these must be 6. And that's because they can't be 8-9 together touching each other. So... That is the same as that. I might as well colour them just to prove it. No, sorry, they're diff. No, wait, they're different. So in fact, that is the same as that because these two are different. This can't be eight nine. So one of them's a six. So one of these two is a six. Is that right? And that makes this an eight. Yes. Okay. If this was a six. Yes, okay, I couldn't see that immediately. But if this was a 6 in the corner, that would be an 8. This would have to be a 9. And that would be next to an 8. Yeah, that's no good. So this is 8, right. Gosh, that was hard to see or understand. So this is a 6 on the line. And then this is 9, this is 6. And the colours have done the job. Um... Four, five, I can't still resolve. Okay, they're not touching anything. So that can't be an eight, so it's four or five. This can't be a four by Sudoku, so it's five or eight. This is four or eight. Uh, six is looking down here, as is three. Um, sometimes these non-consecutive puzzles fall apart, but I suspect with analytical ninja, that won't be the case. Okay, six can't be up here with seven touching it. So it must be in one of these two cells. Not helpful. Two, nine, six, three, four in this column. Three must be in one of those. Oh, come on. Sure, there's something fairly clear here. Probably Sudoku. Two in one of those can't be next to one. Ah, oh, four can't be there by the rule or there by Sudoku. So it's in one of these three. And actually, I don't know which, but one of those three. Not that helpful. Threes in one of those two can't be next to four. 
That's an interesting puzzle. Oh, look, this is five or eight by Sudoku only. Um, what about this? Seven, three, six, four, one. Can't be five because of the six. So two, eight, or nine. Now, five and eight must be in this group of cells. One has to now be in one of these two. Can't be next to two. So two's in one of those two. This is weird how these relationships work in non-consecutive. Four is somewhere in this corner because it can't be next to three. Oh, I don't like doing it this way, sort of scratching around seven in this rows and one of those two, uh, sorry, one of those two cells. Two, one, five, four, one is in one of those three. You do have to use the numbers you've got and project them around the grid. I think it is the only way to progress. Oh, that can't be eight anymore because of the eight in the corner. Ah. Oh, look, this can't be eight or nine. That's very pretty. Because using the rule, those would both have to be five. It can't be next to eight or nine. So in fact, the only possibility here turns out to be two. That's a nine, and that fixes the whole row. That's so strange. That was going to be the same as that, so it's a five. That's such a strange relationship. Is that obvious? It really doesn't feel it. Not to me. Now, four can't be here or next to three, so it's in one of those two. Then it's going to be in one of these two. Seven and seven can't be next to six, so seven's on the bottom row too. And has this become... No, my one... Yeah, this must be nine. I should have been able to see that. Can't be eight, one, six, five, three, two by Sudoku. Can't be seven or four by the non-consecutive rule, so that is nine. So non-intuitive. Got a one, four, seven, triple here. So this is two and eight. I know the order by the rule. This is one, four, and seven. So that could be one or four. That can't be four. This can't be one. So I've got a useless one, four, seven, triple there and there. Well, useless at the moment. I mean, it will come clear now. Two and three have to be in this column, but they must be kept apart because they're not allowed to touch. They need a chaperone. So let's put two and three there. This is now four or seven, but it can't be four because it would be touching three. It would be a useless, naughty chaperone. So we get the four, one, seven done there. Two, three, seven. That's helpful, actually. Now, again, eight and nine have to be in this column and have to be kept apart by a chaperone who can be four or five. Perfectly responsible, four and five. But four and five cannot be next to four or five. So this is a one. It's so strange how this works. So that can't be a one. What else have we learned here? Nothing, actually. Okay. Um, there. Oh, eight is looking straight up at that cell. It has been for, no doubt, a long time. But that finishes the row. One, eight, five, three, two. Now. Four is in one of those. In fact, we've marked off four, seven, and six. Where can nine go? Not there by Sudoku and not there by the rule. So in fact, that's a seven, nine pair. And we can pull, fill in four and six. <coughs> and that fixes box one. Excuse me. And now I can use the chaperone trick here on five and six, which have to appear in those cells with a one keeping them apart, and eight and nine appear here, with a three keeping them apart. Um, and that one has fixed the other four, seven, one, triple. This now becomes six and five. We can do eight and nine, and it's all coming. This is what happens with non-consecutives. Once you get them, they're suddenly over in a flash. Look, this can't be three because of the four or six, so that's a one with a three, six pair below it. Two, five, nine here. That can't be two, that can't be 
five, not so helpful. Uh, four, seven, eight here, chaperone rule. Seven and eight have to be kept apart. Eight can't be, sorry, seven can't be next to six. And I think this is all coming now. I don't think we're gonna have to do any more thinking about the rule actually, if we don't want to. We're just gonna be filling in the numbers. Four, eight, five. Um, oh, maybe here, no, two, seven, three in this row. No. Okay, we're going to, oh, let's use the rule here. Six can't be next to five, so that deals with this. And now the first six columns are totally complete. We've just got the last, first seven, we've just got the last two to do. So they have to be fairly straightforward at this point. That's a lovely idea for a puzzle and a brilliant, it's brilliantly executed as well by Analytical Ninja. He, it's a it's a very good pseudonym. He clearly has some fairly deep analytical powers. I wonder how you create that. You must need to examine a number of non-consecutive obeying grids and find the ones which have the useful 36 and 27 and 15 totals. It's really clever. I love that. Lovely puzzle and uh, delighted to have a chance to do that on the channel. Thank you, as always, for engaging with us. Thank you for spending time watching the videos, and thank you for your company today. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.